We can't forget about our furry friends come holiday season. Great to have Catherine James from Pet Value in Dundas with us. And we have a special guest who's hiding under the table, Catherine. He is hiding. Yes. That's because I have food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where is the, where is the food? Oh, Carl, this is the food. I have lots food? of food. You got you have lots of food. Great to see yeah, you. Yeah, great to see you too. I'm you? fine. I'm good. You? Yeah. Kay. Good morning. Do you want, we want to well, come here. Come here, Carl. Come here. This is Carl, everybody. Oh, what is Carl wearing? So I think the key thing here is that pets are such a big part of everyone's family now. I think we can safely say that. And so yeah. Carl is a come huge here, part of his family, and he's from Dundas, and. So we decided that to, one way to include him in the festivities is to have a cool festive sweater, which is what he's wearing right now. Right. We tried to do PJs for the family photo, but what happened was he couldn't fit into them. Oh, so yeah. I think it's important to remember that sometimes we want our pets to do things and they don't want to or they don't fit into them in this case. But That's what I always think sometimes when I see pets wearing things, Catherine. Like, do they like actually wearing right? things? Carl doesn't care at all. He doesn't he care. He'll wear okay. whatever you want. Like, he'll wear bandanas. Right. He'll, he'll do whatever. And, it, you know, and he, he would have worn the PJs, but we just didn't have a pair big enough. Is it easy to get on? The like sweater, yeah, the super, sweater, yeah, the sweater, the sweater, the sweater is, is super easy. Yeah, when we got the PJs on and realized they were too small, it was actually getting them off that was hard. This is where's the PJs? Oh, these, oh, these are the PJs. Okay. So we've got lots of um, neat PJs, but see how they fit on? I mean, they're kind of there's a lot going on here with the back end and everything. So you got to make sure that you. <laughs> have a dog that's willing and if they're not then this isn't for them this is not for them and right? they'll, they'll let you know pretty early they'll on let if you it's know not. right away and so you have to just say to yourself you know what we're not gonna we're gonna put a bandana on this dog <laughs> okay. carl 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 went for a little walk it's okay carl it's we'll, okay. we'll bring it back at the end all right okay what else have we got on the so, table you want to get to here Kat? well i i think the main thing is just to know this is the fun part of christmas like right. if you can't if you can't include them by dressing them up and even if you do dress them up it's for a minute or two anyway um, this is just to show you that we, you can include your pet in Christmas or holidays. Whatever your holiday looks like, you can make it fun for them. So I just brought a few things. Like this is one of my favorites. Just hold it up there. So yeah, this is, is um, a make your own gingerbread house. You and your family can make this, but the, the dog eats it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorites too. It's a, a, a Charcuterie. charcuterie. This yeah. is your line of yeah, expertise. Right? I know, yeah, I've, I've had a few charcuteries You've in my day. Maybe I don't want to have this type of charcuterie. No. This is more up Carl's alley. Eh? But if you have family oh. over and they're pet lovers, you could put this out on like a charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. And you right. could say, hey guys, if you want to feed the cat, this is what you use. Okay, so let's hold that up. Let that's me hold that right down, right down, oh, right there, right down, there. Down, 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 down. There we go, that one right there. There we go. Okay, so, but that's that's kind of a, a nice lead into we have to be careful when we have things laid out on certain tables yeah. for our pets, dogs, cats, rabbits, whoever. Well, well, the rabbits, that's when you have to think about your wiring, your extra wiring, because okay. that's a, a thing that happens at Christmas. We have extra trees, we have extra wiring for our Christmas trees and things, and so you definitely want to make sure you're keeping that um, under, like make sure your pets realize, or that you're aware wh where your pets where? are in the home. Okay. Um, but I think, yeah, if you're having guests over, it's busy. It's busy in the home, right? And so your focus is on the, the guests, and where is the dog, where is the cat? You know, so yeah, are they getting into something they shouldn't? The other thing I would I want to stress too is like if you have our if you are having friends over, let make sure they know not to open the door without. <laughs> like, you, I don't want any lost know. pets this Christmas. I don't think Carl's gonna go anywhere too quickly. No, but there he's are, not going anywhere there fast. There are, but cats, make sure the cats aren't getting outside. <laughs> um, if you are gonna give somebody a gift and it's edible, like if you're gifting someone chocolate, for example, and you're saying it's wrapped, yeah. like they don't know what it is, and they're gonna put it under the tree. Two hours from now, it's going to be eaten. Yeah. If you have a if you have a dog, okay. So if you ha if you're giving somebody a gift, um, and it's edible, let them know. Isn't it good like something like this that we gave? Hey, Carl, over here, buddy. Carl, here, pal. Like this one is good because he, this would take a while for Carl to eat. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like takes it takes a lot of That's time. That's why it's so great because if you're having friends over and your dog is more or your cat yeah. wants to be on their own then you know what let them be on their own if that's right. what they choose um i have friends cats and dogs who prefer being quiet when people are over come here buddy come here okay we're running we're running out of time so what's the, what's the best advice for maybe somebody that doesn't have a pet but is getting a gift for a pet is it is it coming in and you're helping them out is it does it really matter what you're getting them well i think it's important to know if the dog or cat has allergies that's huge okay. if you're going to okay. buy them something edible all right pet value in dundas Catherine and Carl. Thanks, buddy. Wow, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, okay. You're hugging him too hard, Tim. <laughs> I'm hugging him too hard. Giving him too much love. Not as much love. Come here, Carl. 